Now welcome to our 7th video of Slav month, if everything goes according to my plans of course. Hello there everyone and welcome. Today's video is a bit different because this game was streamed on my Twitch channel and basically you are watching the edited stream. And if you are interested in live streams don't forget to check out my Twitch channel twitch.tv slash mountain underscore general me love me some fear redux and if you do too don't forget to subscribe for more and like the video if you enjoyed it and in the comments tell me what color is your belarus now boys and non-existent creatures called girls we will play as this little country called belarus you now if you look at the shape it looks like darth vader's mask with chet's face you see the chin nose everything that we need we can restore great livonia and basically we will take Ukrainian, Polish, Lithuanian and Soviet lands and make ourselves bad meanies. Belarus gained its independence during the February revolution of 1917. Blah blah blah. Peace of Riga in 1922. We are basically a free nation. This is the shit. Assassination of the Ottoman. Yes, our great mustache leader. He kinda looks like my gym trainer, not gonna lie. Was killed in a horrible accident, I suppose. And also we get a great Belarusian power struggle. So yeah, we have to half mass. And what we will try to do is to draw off a new Belarus. And in turn the conflict starts. What are we going to do? Well, it's pretty simple. We will go uh, with the down option here because we will be able to play as the Valkist. Let's go. And now we need to approach Germany for some uh, little firearms so we can have some fun. And we have to resolve the power struggle and we need to go to the right. So we don't fuck up anything. Just making sure we make it. BNSP secured control. Very nice. And we have this <laughs> fucking nerd in charge. Oh fuck oh shit, can we send volunteers? Oh yes we can. Don't capitulate, I'm on my way. We are good. Let's attack them head on. Let's go. Magyari Zadunai. Is this working? Are we going places? You just have to take Budapest and they will shit their pants and leave Slovakia. Oh no, we are done. Nope, Slovakia is done. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't save this. F's in the chat for my country, I won't even look anymore. Now we can do the Königsberg conference and now hopefully the Germans will take us into their faction. We are in the Shitters Pact and now we can do the thing Dreams of Livianism. Oh we just bypassed it, okay. So thing is that let's ask Ukraine first, hopefully they will just give me all that land. If not that then it's bad. Deutsche Reich recognizes our claims, that's very good. We have the full German support if something happens. Or no, 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 let's demand Lithuanian lands first. If something happens here, the Germans can help. <laughs> like, we will be relying on the German support very much. Lithuania. Gimme, 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 gimme land. Gimme land, Poland. Now... Okay, you wanted this. Okay, this is easy. Oh my. This is nothing. We can do a lot of things. A lot of good things. Oh fuck, we are also a failing state. Let's not be aggressive, okay? We just need to hold. Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. This is bad. This is, <laughs> this is really bad. We will just retreat to our defensible line. And we will try to hold that question mark. Okay, okay, Warsaw has fallen. It's over for the Poles. We have the high ground. Oh fuck, the Poles broke through. No, go away. I just nicely asked for your land. Why are you acting like this? You know, even if we capitulate, we will still win. Okay? Because we are in the German faction. And look, the Germans are here. They came here to save us. Free hurrays for Germany. Easy, what did I say? What did I say? And also now claims in Ukraine. We just want a big based Belarus, that's all. No. This is, this is what it is about. Look at this fucking Belarus. And tell me, this <laughs> isn't overpowered at all. We'll just join them from, for, from the solidarity. We just need more military experience, that's all. Jana Filipova 
What a nice looking babushka, she will now kill all the Lithuanians. I'm, I'm just gonna ask them nicely. Hey, can I have some of your lands? No? Okay. Eee, this is huge, this is huge. Okay, okay, look, 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 everyone, everyone. Boom. And now what we will do is to just score all this land. <laughs> Bro thinks he's Lithuanian. This is just mentally insane. They're just beating the Germans like it's nothing. Just questioning the German ability to do anything. I would love to go to the German leader and ask him if he can even tie his shoes. Now we need to also core these lands, of course. But we have enough political power to do that. Why the fuck can't we push? Oh shit, they broke through. No, no, don't get pushed. Oh fuck, they got pushed. Can we push? No, we can't. Now that the Germans push and try, they, they, they win. I really liked how they were just leaving it all up to me. This is just infinite conflict. They are doing pretty well against the Soviets. We are going in, fuck it, Ik to Moscow. That's the real question. Okay, let's see if we can do some little encirclements, yes. Where is the challenge? Where is Soviet army? I don't see them anywhere. Ura, Moskva Nasha! Look at us, we are at the gates of Leningrad. You should surrender now, it will be less painful for you. The Belarus and Lithuania capture of Leningrad. We are already at the Soviet capital. Another Soviet capital will fall, they can't even move their city in peace. The Belarusians are just nasty, we are pushing the Soviets away. Everyone look, I hate my fucking encirclement. Oh, double encirclement, a triple encirclement, there was one division here. We have just pissed out with the Soviets, I see that. And we will get a big shit. This prescriptive piece that is a little bit, a little bit bad. That's why we will just take few states here and there. I took those cities with my uh, blood, sweat and cum. Let us also conquer the Baltic states. More territories for my big Belarus, Lithuania. But I just wanted few extra territories, nothing too special. Lithuania, you will be fucking mine. Also Estonia. We are already just playing. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, we can steal their one fucking ship and we will call that a navy. We will liberate Latvia but I will take Courland just because I feel like it. Estonia has its own Hitler, oh my god, we have to kill this man. And look how we are melting their divisions but those are just the Estonians, That it's not a true test. Now we just need to rush Stalin and it rhymes with Stalin. Somebody already made the joke 1000 years ago. Okay, so now battle plan. We are going to Denmark and destroy them. Belarus power. Okay, there is a reason nobody can push into Denmark. I feel like this is the way. If we want to break the Entente, we need to break Italy. Italy falls, everything falls. As I turn up here, already put more divisions on the border. No, I don't. I don't think we are making this. No, it, it's it's on the Germans. When I will put here all my 24 greatly equipped divisions, they will just fortify it. The French people are on the move. We need to stop them. Go, my man. Destroy them. Destroy the whole Kiel Canal. We are getting two places encircled and that, and we can just rush the Copenhagen like it's nothing. Look how they are running away, the cowardly Danish people. They have been conquered. We have almost secured the north, so this means that the Germans can take more divisions and put them here. Okay, there is no way we are pushing. Ooh, look how many people we will kill here. Look how many helmets will just fall away. Boom and done. Hmm, I have a little devious plan. We can't take that rotten city of Rotterdam. Okay, Germans just launched their whole offensive, so let's try to support them. And with enough determination, we will be able to prevail. You see, we are already winning. Key to success is to take out Italy first. With the amount of trench warfare, this really is World War 1 2. Yes, yes indeed. I mean, we, we are slowly going in. Like, look at the Germans, they have all overrun the Rhineland. As you can see, we can cut through the middle of Belgium very nicely. It's looking pretty good. We will soon capitulate the evil power of Luxembourg. So many Italians are there. 
Spanner heal. Let's also support the German breakthroughs. You know, we just have to break through this one tile in Austria and we will go ham on all the Italians. All is good. We are already pushing towards Dunkirk and soon the Paris will be ours. Yes, finally, the evil Luxembourgians were defeated. We can now sleep well in Belarus, Lithuania. Luxembourg was carrying the Entente. Uh, look how much they are losing now without them. Yeah, it, it, it makes you think on how much the Luxembourg impacts everyone in their faction. We have to steamroll Venice and hopefully we can cut some more Italians. I see a big opportunity for big encirclement. But I don't know we will be able to close it. They have tanks. They are more... They are faster than... As you can see, nobody is guarding the road to Rome. And as you know, all roads lead to Rome. So I'll just take a random road and end up there. Look at the Italians. They gave up on life already. So as I said before, Italy is just the key to our success. After Italy falls, we will turn our whole might against France. I mean, they, they weren't paying attention for one second and I just flooded in. And the USA declared war on our faction, but I'm not joining. I have enough bullshit here. Italy is always working secretly for the enemy. Always think about that. Now look, France can already surrender. Even assuming uh, the enemy doesn't take Italy, eventually they, they will just flip sides against you. That, that's in the Italian nature. The Germans have created their own Italian puppet. Also, I just thought about something and I think France will just escape to North Africa and we will have to chase them there. Everyone just rush this city. We will burn it down more than the regular French rioters do. France will fall because Italians are defending Paris. Look, an encirclement. So many Italians and French people. Oh no. Look, look, look. We will be soon able to connect our territories. And also the big French army was just surrounded here. And France surrendered? Question mark. Ay, 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 ay. We have to kill those colonies. We have to somehow navally invade, but it will be easy. Just look how many people are encircled here. This is the encirclement heaven for us. We will nicely go from Italy. Bound to turn Libya into Belarusian vacation spot. What if the Belarusians just took some rafts and see how many of them can make it? No way! No fucking way! They had one bright moment and they were able to invade them. Sometimes with naval invasions you need to get uh, lucky like this. You know, I was willing to just go through the whole fucking Africa and not care. But this is nice, this is good. Feels good, man. Feels good. Oh no, they just killed themselves by attacking us. No. What are you doing, French Africans? See, Casablanca will fall and everything will be good. This is just a massacre, this is not fair, not even slightly. This is the true end of Italy and France. Everyone, jump into Libya. This is where all the gaming is at. You see, the Italians can't do anything about our victory. You know, I will just shoot myself in the head if the Italian capital gets moved into Turkey. They got clapped very hard. Yo, yo, look at the true Belarusian Lithuanian Empire. Subscribe for more. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and a special thanks goes to Razanon and that one dude for being the highest channel members.